Demand, the power of the consumer. Demand is the quantity of a particular good or service consumers are willing and able to buy at different possible prices. Basically, demand is the desire to own anything, the ability to pay for it, and the willingness to pay for it. Consumers have the power to create the demand for a product. The law of demand states that when the price of a good is lowered, the consumers will buy more of it. Also, when the price is higher, consumers will buy less. In a nutshell, consumers will buy more of a product when its price decreases, and less when its price increases. There are two effects to the law of demand. The first is the substitution effect. The substitution effect is the tendency to change your purchase based on changes in price. This happens when there are two goods that satisfy similar wants. For example, if the price of hamburgers increases, the demand of hot dogs will increase since they would be relatively cheaper. The second effect is the income effect. The income effect is when changes in price can affect buyers' purchasing decisions. When the price of a good increases and your paycheck doesn't increase, you will buy less and vice versa. If the price of a good decreases, you will feel like you have more money and in turn, you will buy more. The demand schedule is a table that lists the quantity of a good that a person will buy at each different price. It compares the price of a good with the quantity demanded by the consumers. This graph is an example involving the price of cookies. As you can see, as the price increases, the demand decreases. The demand curve is a graphic representation of a demand schedule. This demand curve has a negative slope. This shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity that will be purchased. The quantity is on the x-axis and the price is on the y-axis. Changes will cause the graph to shift left for less demand or right for more demand. This demand curve is for the cookie example in the previous slide. You can see that as the price decreases, the quantity demand increases. Now let's look at the factors that shift demand. The first factor is income. As income increases, consumers will buy more goods. Likewise, when income decreases, consumers will buy less goods. The second factor is the price or availability of substitutes. Substitutes are goods that are used in place of one another. For example, butter and margarine can be substituted for one another. Butter is generally more expensive than margarine, which may, may cause consumers to buy the margarine since it will serve the same purpose. This causes market demand for butter to decrease because the consumer will buy a similar, cheaper good. The third factor is the price or availability of Complementary goods. Complementary goods are goods that are often used together. For example, peanut butter and jelly. If the price of jelly goes up, the demand for jelly will go down, causing the demand for peanut butter to go down, even if the price of peanut butter doesn't change. A fourth factor is the number of buyers in the community. If the number of buyers increases, the demand of the products in that community will also increase. A fifth factor is a change in styles, tastes, and habits. A popular style in 2011 was wearing tight, skinny jeans. However, in the 1970s and 80s, bell-bottom jeans were very popular and almost everyone owned a pair. The demand in the 70s for bell-bottom jeans was very high, but in 2011 the demand for bell-bottom jeans was very, very low. The demand in 2011 for skinny jeans was very high, though. A sixth factor is a change in expectation. When people expect that a certain product will become scarce in the near future, they will buy more of that product now. The last ele element of demand we will look at is the elasticity of demand. This is the measure of how consumers react to a change in price. 
It dictates how drastically consumers will cut back their demand for a good when the price rises or increase their demand when the price falls. Elastic demand is very sensitive to the change in price. Inelastic demand is not very sensitive. Consumers won't buy products with elastic demand if there is a price increase, but will continue to purchase products that have inelastic demand.